friends. Welcome to today's vlog. A little different. You're probably like, where in the heck? Where in the heck is she at? And what is this? This past week, I have been working on, and I hope that the wind and the outside noises is like not too much for this video. Obviously, a lot of us are just stuck inside, and some of us are blessed enough to have a space outdoors where we can just kind of um, chill and take the day off so, so our porch has become that for us Mila freaking loves being outside so I'm trying to make this space very comfy for all of us so that has brought me to doing a little bit of decorating and revisioning some things out so I know a lot of times y'all ask for like decorating videos and kind of like the planning process of it so I thought this would be really fun to take you guys along Okay, lady. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking you guys along for the whole process. Today we're going to be talking about all my plans. I'm going to be sharing a website with you that I used. None of this is sponsored. Um, just to throw that out there. And um, a website that I used to kind of get like a an idea of the layout that I had in my mind just so I can sort of see it visually rather than just imagining it and I feel like a lot of you will benefit from this so I'll put the website down below in the description box you can just go on that and it's like a 3d um, room designer and it's free it's really hard to find those that are free um, but it's just the the furniture and whatever they have available on their site which you can shop all of that it's probably expensive I haven't even looked at I haven't even looked at our like inventory um, I just pretty much predominantly use the website for that so with all that being said and you're ready to see my plans and how I go about doing like a room design and all the things um, let's just go ahead and jump on into that so I have my handy dandy notebook <laughs> what I did was I came out and measured the space this is important especially if you're going to be buying furniture for the space pretty much anything that you're going to need to fill up that space um, you're going to need to figure out what's going to be able to fit if you can rearrange what you got if you can make it work it's just really smart to start off there so I just have a little drawing of the porch and I come out here with a tape measure and measured everything and I was like super detailed measuring in between windows and all the different things just to make sure that what I was imagining would actually work and it wouldn't be cluttered so then I took to that website that I was telling you about Normally in my head when I start a room design or redecorate re or decorate period I always have an idea in my mind as to what I want the placement of things to be So I already knew how I wanted the placement of this front porch again if it's windy I am so sorry, <laughs> but I figured I wanted to sit out here with me The reason that I love this site so much is because you can put in the actual dimensions of the room Obviously, this is not a room. It's a porch, but it does have dimensions and everything I just created a room and then made the walls and everything the size that this porch was so with the porch being a longer rectangular area I wanted to really utilize the space and bring in multiple pieces and it's referred to as a conversation set when you start looking at different patio furniture sets and stuff um, so I knew it would be really cool to have a couch situation on the porch but I didn't want to like a couch swing because we are talking about moving so I don't want to put anything that's going to be hard to take down and all that I wanted it to be a piece that would be easy to transition into a new home which also played a role in like the color scheme and stuff I wanted to keep it su super neutral in case you know it's a totally different color scheme than what we got going on here at our house a lot of you know that when I start to look for something I look high and low I look on all the sites I'm comparing reviews I'm comparing price I'm comparing how long it's gonna take to put together I'm looking at how long I have to wait for an item to come especially with everything that's going on shipping is like up and down so I'm looking at all those things and I literally spend about four days comparing and looking at all the different things if you hear a noise in the background I'm pretty sure Cody is doing something I don't know what he's doing but I know he's doing something in the garage even with a covered porch there are still going to be those windy rainy days so I wanted to make sure that the items that we chose were not going to be damaged by the weather and especially with pieces that come with cushions I wanted the comfort of the cushions in the furniture sets but I also wanted to have the luxury of being able to remove them so that if there's a storm coming we can just storm away even if it says that the fabric is like water resistant or whatever I still would like to have the option of being able to go put them in storage Rosie come here 
So I'm taking all of that into consideration. My next step is putting all of the pieces that I like into a collage like photograph so I can kind of compare them next to each other and see which one I like a little bit more. Now I did this in the beginning of the week. I thought I had picked like my top three and I ended up purchasing one this morning which I am going to show you and it was not in that top three mainly because there was a daily deal on Home Depot and when I looked the other day this set was originally $8.99 so I didn't even like bother with it. I was like look I, the most I'm paying is seven and I don't even want to really pay seven. I was trying to pay more so like four or five. <laughs> not go up that far because I also want to buy some other things to go up here. I didn't even see it. So something in me, I don't know why I went to Home Depot and checked this morning online, but there was a set for $4.99 and I was like, how did I miss this the other day when I checked? It's because it was a sale for today and I'm like, oh Jesus, I see you. I see you looking out for me. He was like, you be patient and just let it come to you. I don't know why. I mean, I, you know what? I, I, Jesus told me to check Home Depot because I'm, I'm going to tell you, I had already made up my mind. I was going to go ahead and fork out that $700 for that Walmart set because it was wicker. We both loved it. It looked comfy. It had that traditionalness, but also a little bit of twist of the modern for me. Cody likes the more traditional wicker seats, um, but I wanted a little bit more like the sleeker, clean lines. And that's exactly what this set is from Home Depot. It's $200 cheaper than I was going to pay. It has more of the clean lines, but it still has that traditional wicker look for Cody. And we can remove the cushions. And also, the coffee table that it comes with opens for storage, which the other set did not. So, super excited about that. I'm going to link all the sets that I found down below that I thought were really great options and that I kept going back and forth in between. Ultimately, I went with the cheaper set. It gave me more options. It looked more what I wanted. Uh, it's definitely neutral. I didn't want anything that was going to be too dark and just make the area feel kind of drab. As you can see the brick color here, um, you can easily pull like some black tones or brown tones from it. Um, I didn't want to go the black route which is what we typically have done in the past as you can see the rocking chair that I'm sitting in. Um, I wanted to go more warm tone, make the porch not feel as cold. So definitely livening things up and another way we're going to do that is with cushions and rugs and plants. We went to Lowe's today, picked up some Boston ferns, which are absolutely beautiful. I also got a new wreath in, which is also a Boston fern wreath. And I found that from Target. The green definitely livens things up on the porch. Green is like a color of life. Um, so definitely popping all the colors of green on the porch with all the plants is definitely going to be a huge, huge help. Now with the rug, I could have went like a colorful route, obviously going with an outdoor rug. I wanted something that was going to sort of hide dirt pretty easy because we do have dogs that run back and forth from the porch to the outside. They dig and they come back. So I wanted something that was going to be really cute, easy to clean, um, but also kind of hide stuff in between like, you know, sweeping it off or whatever, power washing it. I found the perfect one. It was like 50 something. Originally I found one at Walmart that was like $34. But then when I ended up spending less on the patio set, I could spend a little more on the rug. So it was like 54, I think the one that I ended up getting from Home Depot. I'll link them both down below because I think they're really, really good. We went with like a five by eight ish size. Um, based on the size of the porch. We're going to create a little conversation area with the two chairs and I do have a little like side table already on the porch that I will most likely keep. Might keep that in between the two chairs just so when you're in those chairs if you got a drink or a baby monitor you can just sit it right there and chill and just watch watch the birds. All right so now that we've talked about all of the bigger pieces hanging out I do want to talk more about some smaller decor items and different things that I'm thinking but for that we're going to head inside Millie's up from her nap. Um, I normally would just go ahead and bring her out, but it's a little like windy and nippy out here today. Out here with my garden chic. <laughs> so one thing that you can do to pep up your porch is to make some plant boxes. Now you can always go and buy some, but it's way cheaper to make them if you have the tools and have somebody that knows how to do it, whether that's you or your husband. These cedar boxes are super nice. There are so many different plans available on Pinterest where you can just go in like DIY plant cedar box or something like that. Um, pretty simple from what I've seen when I was looking at 
um, the plans and stuff. So we were talking about that, but then I started on another, a whole nother kick. Um, but this would be really cute next to your front door. Um, I really like the fact that these are like taller and slimmer. I feel like they bring your eye up and they kind of make the porch seem a little bit taller if you have like more of a shorter porch and you want that more grand effect go slimmer and taller for sure because it'll just draw your eye up um so i definitely like that and you can put some ferns in those but i decided to go with those hanging ferns so i'm going to stay away from this now one thing that i did fall in love with and i have always loved and y'all might have noticed this but i love lights i love twinkly lights and that's probably why i love christmas trees so much and i put them up early even if i don't put a decoration to the first on it i will leave a christmas tree up just bare because I just love those twinkly lights and they're super magical. My bedroom back at my parents, I had twinkly lights all around the crown molding in the, in the bedroom. I loved, loved it. Um, and I do have some little twinkly lights over there around the mirror. Um, and when Mila gets old enough, we're gonna twinkle light the heck out of her room. Now she's gonna love it. I will, even if she doesn't, but what kid doesn't like those twinkly magical lights but I would love to put some on the porch and I think I want to do like some solar ones and somehow rig up something where so the sun comes up on that porch and it sets on the other porch so it doesn't get much sun and it is covered but parts of it will get some sun so I'm gonna to have to see if there's a way that I can rig up something when I say I I mean Cody rig up something on the side that the sun does come up on so it's so it's able to charge from the sun so it actually has solar power to be able to power those lights if we want to turn them on plan on stringing them in the roof of the porch like this photograph here and I think this is really really cute too they have a lot of neutral colors up there and then they chose those pops of the pinky purple with those flowers and this is something that I love doing and I do in our and like inside of our home is I pick a lot of neutral stuff like my big stuff is neutral things that cost a lot of money are the neutral pieces so that I can pick and choose like little things here and there like a throw blanket throw pillows the flowers, um, little decor, like little decor pieces that you can just easily, you know, five dollars here, twenty dollars there. You can change those out seasonally, or however often you would like. It's a little more on the expensive side to start switching out, like whole furniture pieces and rugs, stuff like that. So I try to make sure those pieces are neutral and I can just play along with colors with all the other stuff. And I love the use of lanterns and those battery operated candles. Oh, we we'll have to look for some of those. I think that'll be really good up there. But I wanna make sure that whatever lantern I get doesn't have glass in it, just with the wind, because sometimes a storm will pick up in the middle of the night and we didn't know one was coming maybe. And we don't always, we're not gonna just run out there and grab all the breakable things and bring them in, you know? So I wanna be really thoughtful there and pick something that's gonna be at least pretty heavy so it doesn't blow over, but if it does, it's not gonna break. But I love the battery operated candles. I love Pinterest for these like mood board kind of situations. It has everything laid out for you, kind of gives you an idea. I have made a lot of these before for certain rooms in our house. They're pretty easy to make, um, but I, I am a little tech savvy and I make quite a bit of stuff like online. Um, so this, it wasn't that hard for me to make, but if you are not that tech savvy and you're looking for like, some kind of concept of things and you just kind of want it all laid out. There are so many different ones on Pinterest. If you see something that you like and you're like, oh, well, what will go with this Buffalo check pillow? Like, how can I, it gives you so many ideas of things that you can pick and choose to go with it. I love this. I didn't see this. I wonder what size that is. Let's pin that. I love this set here. It is the wicker. It does have a lot of neutrals. It's, they're playing with blacks and whites and they have some pops of blue I see and I think that's predominantly like the cushions on the chairs. But there's a lot of green and that's from all the plants that they've chosen on this porch and I'm obsessed. They did do a layered rug which I think is really nice. The placement is very similar to the placement that I was gonna do but their table is in the middle and I was gonna have mine more so over to the side. So I might end up changing it because I do like that, but they do have two couches. So we'll see. I do wanna keep some open area because 
Millie does go out there with us and we typically bring one of her seats or something out there for her to play in. So we do need to keep like some open space so we can have room to put her stuff. But I do really like that. I know I said that I wasn't gonna do a porch swing, but I just had to show y'all this because I think it's gorgeous. And I love how simple it is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I found those cushion things this morning. I'm gonna have to go back and try to find them, but they're not really cushions. I think they're like ceramic or something. They were hard. They weren't cushions, but they look like cushions. But they have them sitting out in front of that like couch swing thing. But I really did pin this to show the neutral colors with the green and the lights and the wood tones. Y'all, my favorite thing in the world is black and white and wood. I think it looks so good the, because black and white can be kind of cold, but the wood tone warms it up and it doesn't look so bland. Like those three together, especially if you pick just the right tone of that wood, it's perfect, it's perfection. I am on the hunt for some pillow covers. That's another tip if you don't do that. Um, instead of buying new pillows every season and then every year and just re just changing things out and you have to store all those pillows, I understand that sometimes they just don't have cute covers like you want and you might find that one pillow that you just gotta have. And you know what, go ahead and get that pillow. It's not gonna be the end of the end of the world if you get a pillow and not a pillow cover. But if you find pillow covers, <laughs> if you find pillow covers that you love, just do those and you don't have to store a bunch of pillows. So I do have some outdoor pillows that I got from Walmart last year. They're just not fitting within the vibe that I wanna go for on the porch. They're like bright blues and yellows and I just, I don't wanna go with that. So I'm going to measure and see how big those pillows are and find some pillow covers. I'm gonna show you guys one more thing and then we'll wrap this up because you're probably like, Paige, I'm so sick of hearing you talk. Or you are you might be like, oh my gosh, talk some more. If you're like that, then you must be really bored. <laughs> yeah. Mommy's trying to find something. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys have seen this. What am I talking about? You probably have. If you live in the decor world at all, if you enjoy watching any kind of decor shows, you follow any decor accounts on any social media, I know you've seen curtains on a front porch. And I'm gonna pin this. I hadn't pinned it, but I'm gonna pin it because I think it's beautiful. And plus they have like a throw blanket on a chair. I don't, I'll never leave it out there, but it looks nice for photos. <laughs> I think porch curtains or like patio curtains are really good, especially if you live in like a subdivision or like a condo situation where your neighbors can see. Or if you just are extra like me and you just love the look of it and it's gonna make an outdoor space feel more indoor because that's just not normally something that you would, you know, put out there. Curtain jaw. I'm obsessed with these curtains. They look so good. It makes it really homey. So it's not so, like I said, cold. Cause you're outside and it can be kind of like, because obviously your porch is probably either wood or concrete or who knows what your porch is made out of, but it can be kind of cold because it's stone or whatever it is. So I feel like those curtains can help warm it up along with those like wood tones and the wickers and all the different things and the plants cushions, blankets, all those things. But the curtains is like taking it another step up. Would y'all do curtains? Millicent, mm, mm But would you? <laughs> would, would you do curtains? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And if I did, I would probably do drop cloth curtains because I feel like they're a little bit more heavier duty and I think they'll be able to withstand outside a little bit better. But then I'm gonna have to get curtain rods put up. And I don't know if I would do like both sides of the porch or if I'd only do one, just because of the way our porch is let out. I don't know, but if you have curtains on your porch, do you love them? Let us know. All right guys, so I hope y'all enjoyed sort of this planning video with me. I will be doing a video once everything's here, kind of like a decorate with me porch edition. Um, I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy that because y'all have been asking for years now for porch stuff, but I just never done anything to my porch really because I just didn't. I mean, y'all know I'm deathly afraid of frogs and lizards and stuff, so I don't sit on our porch very often. I, this is really a Millie influenced purchase because she loves being outside. I did make an essential oil spray that I plan on spraying our like seating down with and hopefully it will deter, is that right? Deter, 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 which one? 
it would keep them away. I call it leave me be spray. Y'all leave me be. So hopefully they'll leave me be when we go out there. So I'm gonna spray them down and hopefully all the amphibians and reptilians and insectians <laughs> will stay away. <laughs> and we can just enjoy our peaceful time out on the porch. If y'all have any recommendations. Um, and also mosquitoes eat your girl up. Mosquitoes love your girl. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to find some stuff where we can enjoy our outside time because Millie loves it when she goes outside it's like witching hour does not exist that hour before bedtime y'all she's just like <laughs> but if you take her outside it doesn't exist so definitely want to make that space fun for all of us to chill out and hang and a nice place for me to do some devotionals and have coffee I'm really excited about it especially with it warming up so yeah if you're excited about that too and you're thinking about doing the same thing then obviously subscribe to the channel so you can see all the things that we end up doing in the future with our porch and for any more decor videos in the future i am planning on doing a guest room makeover so if you want some like indoor stuff too don't worry i got you but anyway i hope y'all guys have a beautiful and blessed day and we will see you in the next one bye <gasps> Millie, so did y'all think i was going to go without seeing my face did you think you was going to go without getting to see my face Millie, really why do you have two pansies? Why do you have two pansies? Say bye everybody. <gasps> Say bye everybody. No? Okay. <laughs>